What is up, YouTube? This is Red Leprechaun Gaming, and welcome to episode 40 of our Caves and Cliffs update survival series. You will notice that I am 32,000 blocks into the nether. That is, that is rather far. And I uh, stopped here because, if you'll notice, I'm running very low on wood. I only have 16 sticks left. And I figured I'd show you how I've been uh, doing here. So, I dig just a one block tunnel. And as you can see, that has resulted in me getting a very large amount of ancient debris. Uh, I've only gone back once because I reached level 52 and I figured I might as well start working on this. We might even, hmm. Why don't do, ooh, but we need fuel though. Hmm. That might be problematic. Why don't we? How many do we need? We need, we don't have a smithing, oh, never mind. I'll just leave that here forever. Um, I was gonna say we should probably smelt some of this wheat so we can make our rest of our armor netherite, but I need iron for a smithing table and I can't get iron in the nether. So what I've been doing is once I run out of wood, the pillar in the middle is just to stop ghasts from spawning. Once I reach the point where I no longer have any wood to my name, I simply tunnel back up to the surface and get more. Like I said, our goal is to hit uh, 125,000 blocks. We are currently at 32. So we're actually pretty close to our goal. I am going to get some more XP. This is how I've mainly been getting XP. It's just you run into so much nether quartz and nether gold over the course of digging that it really adds up. Like, I have enchanted thorns and mending on all of this, and I have still, uh, I'm still not like, um, I still have 29 levels. <laughs> oh, and I found out something very interesting about enchanting. It is the number next to the enchantment that defines how much XP it's going to cost. For example, putting Thorns 3 on one of these costs usually 17 to 19 levels because it is Thorns 3. However, even if you have Thorns 3 on it already and you put Mending, it only costs 2 to 4 levels to put Mending on there because Mending is a Mending 1 enchantment. It's not like Mending, there's no Mending 2 or Mending 3, so it's never going to be that expensive. Which is actually quite good to know. I guess they wanted to make it easy, like, in case you get mending once you have all enchanted gear, so that way it's, like, not physically impossible to enchant your gear with mending. And, uh, we're not actually usually that far from the floor of the nether, although we may be encountering some lava here, hence the... Um, fire resistance potion in my hand or in my hot bar stop it actually why don't I just not like I'm running out of netherrack anytime soon or ever I've basically just been oh shit I've basically just been uh, tossing it into holes and letting it despawn. Because <laughs> we, we can't bring it with us, and there's way too much of it. Okay. Oh. Interesting. So we literally just, like, grazed the very bottom of a lava thing. Last time I got pretty lucky, I didn't even see any lava on the way up. Like, I, 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 like, went past a bunch of magma like this, but I guess I, like, tunneled up right next to where 
the magma was. And ooh, perfect. And we're even in a biome where there's trees. See, it was kind of confusing because down there when we looked back, we saw red because, oh shit. Don't kill me, bro. Uh-oh, I made this tall enough for him. Oh yeah, looting. <laughs> Not that we need ender pearls for anything right now. I mean, I guess we can take some more with us. Ooh, look, more XP. Do I have enough, uh, yes I do. Just say, do I have enough stone to make a, a normal axe? Because I don't have a netherite axe. I did end up also having to uh, pick up my silk touch pickaxe bullet when I went back to get the diamonds to make the armor. Because you can only pick up a, uh, you can only pick up a uh, ender chest with silk touch. If you break it with a normal pickaxe, it turns into obsidian. Where is... Oh, I don't need this. I need to plop this down. So that I can do that. Now we're just going to get a bunch of wood. Literally as much as we can carry. Last time I went for like three or four stacks because you'd be surprised how many stone pickaxes you go through tunneling 30,000 blocks. I guess it's not that surprising that I need a lot of pickaxes. But we are making very good progress. It's been like three or four days and I've made it this far. And I remember how much I calculated it would take if we were doing this the way I was trying to find the nether fortress. Although, to be fair, I do not have to, uh... Why are you mowing? What? What do you want? You're small and you scream all the time. What is it, Fred? He's meowing up a storm in the li in the dining room, and then he sprints into the living room and just sits down and stops making noise. But, uh, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, I, uh, I went for, like, four stacks of this. I've been using the, whatchamacallit, the light blocks as, uh, what I use to block up lava when I come across it, just because I'm gonna get it while I'm mining these trees. But the thing is, I don't have to look for anything on the surface here, other than making sure that when I stop, we are in an area that there is trees, which you can tell by the nether fog. So, basically, I just go until I run out of wood, or I'm close to running out of wood. As you can see, I, I did have quite a few pickaxes on me, but I don't have much wood in order to uh, make more once these run out. And I just kind of make sure I always have a slot for ancient debris in my inventory. Make sure there's a, always at least one slot for blackstone so that I can pick that up because that's what I'm making the pickaxes out of. Uh, previously, I was actually... You remember I went into the nether with, like, iron armor that was pretty much dead once I started tunneling? Well, I basically... Once that broke, I started using the gold I was mining to make a... Uh, armor, but obviously gold armor doesn't last long, and only the one piece of it had mending, and even then that piece ended up breaking. So, I eventually just went back and got diamonds, made full diamond armor, made the chest plate into, uh, whatchamacallit, netherite, and, uh, picked up my good tools. I always loved these trees. We're, we're going to have to use these when we build in the next location. How much? Yeah, we have almost a stack already. I might have to grab some more blackstone here if I'm going to make another axe. Because I think I'm a piece short.
Hmm. Is there any black stone on the surface here? Not particularly. A oh, baby pigman. I mean, I guess we can just walk down here and grab some. Oh! That was lag. That happens every once in a while. I ju you just have to not be pushing the forward stick when it happens. Ambient gas noises. In fact, we should see some, unless I picked them all up. There are some stretches of the... Oh no, I chucked them down here, right? Oh, they're despawned. I, uh, whenever I stop to craft more pickaxes, obviously every time your pickaxe breaks, that slot ends up getting filled up with, like, netherrack usually. So then you end up with a whole inventory full of netherrack. And I've just been literally chucking that shit on the floor. And letting it despawn. Well, chucking it down a hole. And here we go, picking up a bunch more of it. There we go, there's some blackstone. No. Get away from the camera. Bad George. He was like tentatively sticking out his leg to like tap the camera with his paw. Like, what are you doing? Why do you need to boop it? It does not require boops. A bunch of that. Well, actually, we don't need that much of it, but I mean, it's already a slot there, so it's not like we're losing inventory space by picking it up. Besides, might as well get rid of a couple of these pickaxes. We have a lot in our inventory. So I think I, yeah, I have a decent number of those on me. I did also, when I went back, have to make more fire resistance potions. I've almost gone through all of the fire resistance potions I made, plus the new ones I made. We have used a lot of them. I usually just tunnel until I hit lava, and then whenever I see lava, I just take one, and then I can just do the forward momentum thing without worrying about what I'm going to run into. You can go away. And so can you, and you, and you, and you, and you, and you, and you. Cooked chicken. I also shoved a bunch more food in my chest because we did go through the food I had on me. And I think, hmm, I'm still contemplating what exactly our build is going to look like. Because I have part of the build figured out for when we get to 125,000 blocks in the nether. Which, I'm, it's incredibly likely that our, uh, hey, watch it. Stay away from the cord that is attached to the camera. Um, that, that should be more than enough. That is so much. You know, originally, because of how much of this it takes to make an ingot, I was like, it's going to be like impossible to make a beacon out of it. It's going to take so much. And we're only like what? A little over a fifth of the way there. And... Actually, we're about a fourth of the way there, so that's almost two stacks. So we could get like eight stacks of ancient debris by the time we're done with this. Also, the things we make fire resistance potions out of, I've just been passively collecting because, like I said, whenever you strip mine like this in the nether for ancient debris, you are creating an inadvertent... Uh, uh, magma cube farm because they spawn and they suffocate. So then every time you run back there's just going to be magma uh, cream sitting there on the floor and you just pick it up. How much is that? A quarter of a stack. So we have almost we, we have enough to make 45 fire resistance potions. <laughs> That's kind of ridiculous. I'm glad I have so many blaze rods, too, because that's that's nice to have around. We can basically make infinite potions. What, al what would also be amazing is, uh, hmm, 
I haven't had it happen yet, but is there anything over here other than ghasts? I I am tunneling. Oh, did you just mine blackstone up here? I'm tunneling on the same exact like line that I was tunneling when we originally went through the Nether. Like down there, it's 107. Eight and then all the way over. So, if there is like a nether fortress or a bastion, we should theoretically go directly underneath it. Of course, the odds of us actually like happening to dig up at the exact spot that there is a nether fortress would be astronomical, but it's not impossible. Also, what I'll probably do is just to make it easier on us when we actually build the portal is when I get to 125,000 I will dig a staircase up just like I did this time and then we'll build the portal on the actual surface at the nether so that we're not like making a portal that takes us literally to like diamond level in a cave somewhere like, I want my portal to be accessible. I almost stared, like, three of them in the face right there. I mean, it's not that big of a deal. I do have thorns, mending, diamond armor, and a netherite sword. Although, I think this one only has looting on it, right? Yeah. This is that sword that I got Bane of Arthropods on, but I didn't care because it had looting as well. And we can always supersede it with, uh... Uh, sharpness if we want to. I'll probably be focusing a lot more heavily on villager trading, specifically in the form of librarians during Season 2, and we will also be tackling the end, hopefully, in Season 2. I mean, we have all of the supplies to, but I want to wait until we establish our new house, and then we'll be able to get our hands on shulker boxes. And, important change... They made it so that shulkers are renewable now. They're not... It used to be that uh, if there was a fixed number of shulkers in your world, and once you killed them all, you were just out of luck. Now, they do respawn, so we effectively have an infinite number of uh, shulker boxes that we can get our hands on, which means our inventory space is only limited to how many shulker boxes we can fit in our inventory. We're definitely going to have to pillar up to get all of this, aren't we? There we go. Yes, go directly under where I'm pillaring so that I have to stare you in the face. Are you trying to get me to farm Ender Pearls? I just wanted to record to show a little of what I'm doing because obviously I don't want to record too much of me just tunneling. It's not the most interesting thing in the world, although it is interesting when we uh, come across... We're still recording, right? Yep. It's interesting when we... Whoa. Lag. It's interesting when we come across ancient debris and however much that ends up being. It is also interesting to uh, locate... or to see how much experience we get. Because I found something very interesting. Please do not shove me into the lava. Um, for some reason... I don't know if this is an intentional feature of the game or not, but for some reason, uh, the amount of ancient debris you come across is actually, like, uh, almost identical to the number of levels you get from mining, uh, from mining nether quartz and nether gold. I'm guessing that that is, like, an intentional byproduct of the ore distribution, because obviously, if you have netherite, or, or if you have a, if you have nether quartz or nether gold in that slot, then obviously ancient debris can't generate there, so logically it should be dispersed, but I just didn't think there'd be, like, that equal of amount, because you always think of this stuff as so rare. But I guess ancient... No! Whatever shall we do? And that, ladies and gentlemen, is why you get your hands on fire resistance potions. 
I need... Oh, our armor took, like, no damage there. And the best part about mending, the best part of waking up, is nether quartz in your cup. Because I shall simply mine this vein of nether quartz. And by the time, this is a huge vein of nether quartz. I've noticed they have absolutely massive veins, like it's, like it's similar to coal in the overworld. But if we look, our armor's completely repaired. Now, I do want to check something while we have fire resistance on, because I am very tempted to see if this is the case. Oh, this is one block deep, isn't it? Come on. I need at least two blocks deep so I can see what's happening. Okay. It's an eight-minute potion, so I'm not that worried about it. I wanted to see, since netherite, or since uh, ancient debris spawns not in contact with air. Oh, that's interesting. The, the like, that stuff is underneath where the uh, lava is. Huh. But, um, what I was trying to see is if uh, the ancient debris would spawn under lava because technically these blocks are not in contact with air, right? Like, this is technically not in contact with air. Although, I do not appear to be drowning. Even though I am literally in liquid fire. It's very interesting, though, that the, uh, um, that the environment goes underneath the magma. Also very interesting, if I hit the crouch button while in lava, I can still swim, yet I am also still crouched. That is very strange. Discovering new things all the time. Give me that sweet XP. All of it. Hit! Shit. I'm allergic to magma. I do not really care about this specifically. Although I will take all of that nice flint, thank you very much. Hmm. Do I bother grabbing more ender pearls while I'm here? Nah. I'll just chuck these in my chest, and if I happen to get more, I'll get more. Uh, we can get... Hmm. How many more do we need? Eight? I'll just chop down some of this tree. One, two, three... What? Four. Graphical glitches. Six, seven, eight. There we go. Oh, that was one too many. Oh well. I need to make more crafting tables anyways, because I usually make those up separately so I can just place them down. And we must also remember that before our potion runs out, you always have to swap that for a new potion. So let's just do this this way so that we make the exact correct amount. I kind of wish this made a blue crafting table, but oh well. We have crafting tables, we have two stacks of wood we can use for sticks, we have blocks to use for stuff. I'm going to toss these axes into the fire, because I don't need them anymore. This can go up here, this can go over here. Go. Actually, I don't need this in my hop bar, do I? Oh yeah, I do. I need to pick up that before we get going. I don't know how long I'm going to record for. Probably until 11, maybe? Um, let's swap this out for that. Actually, I'm just going to need to take all of these anyways. Unless... Uh, and I swap that for a potion. Then all I have to do to get more wood next time is grab that. Is this a whole stack? Almost. That's a lot of flint. I might have to re-go over some of what we're taking with, oh, with us. Never mind. That's everything I think. 
I can grab. No, I need that for this. Then we just swap this with this. And yes, remember we have three netherite pickaxes because one's fortune two. Although, oh no, they both have unbreaking on them. Well, I don't think, yeah, that doesn't have unbreaking. I don't have efficiency on anything, do I? And my sword is literally just looting, mending. Well, bane of arthropods, but you know how useful that is. And now, since we have fire resistance on, and it doesn't matter that we have, that we could conceivably come across lava, we just dig like this. I am holding the sprint button and going forward as fast as possible and just mining into the wall. And like I said, we're still on 107 Y coordinate and then we're just moving on the Z. So we are directly in line with the path we have been taking this entire time. Other than that weird little uh, bend thing that happens because our staircase put us off course when we first started the tunnel. It last time when I went back and came here, like to get the stuff to make my armor and stuff, I did enchant this armor while I was mining. I just waited until I got enough levels to put the books on it. That's why there's an anvil in my uh, ender chest. But um, but uh, it took literally hours. Like, to run there and run back, it took hours. That's how far we've gone. So, I would very much prefer not to uh, have to sprint down here too many times. Uh, I don't know if I'll have any more episodes that are specifically while I'm tunneling. I just wanted to record some of how this goes. And, like, oh! That was, that was really fast. We haven't been digging long at all, and we already hit more ancient debris. And we're very close to finishing our second stack of ancient debris. The, so, if we, uh, if we do get four stacks of ancient debris, that will mean that we will have, uh, or what is it? If we get four stacks of ancient debris, then we'll have an entire stack of uh, ancient of uh, netherite ingots, which is going to be absolutely ridiculous. Because I don't need, once we only need three for our armor, and then shovel, axe, hoe. So we only need six ingots in order to complete our set, and we're gonna have if. We're probably at least going to have an entire stack of netherite ingots by the time we're done with this. That is going to be absolutely ridiculous. Oh, and then when I hit patches of gravel, I mine like this because otherwise I'll end up like sprinting into the gravel basically and suffocating. You'll also notice we do have a grace period when our potion ends where we still technically have the fire resistance effect even though our potion has run out. I don't know when they implemented that, but that has come in very useful. Several times. And then... Uh, I can kind of yawn a lot for some reason. Um, it's not like I'm drinking chamomile tea at 10 o'clock at night after mowing two lawns. Um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, I can still just use the sprint forward method of mining because, A, you saw how little damage we took. Oh, we still have, yeah, we still have blackstone in our inventory. Um, you saw how little damage we took just because we have this high of armor on us. In fact, can you imagine how little damage we'll take from lava when we have protection four on all of this? It's gonna be ridiculous. Those shulkers are not gonna stand a chance. And uh, once, once we're digging like this, if we hit lava, I always have that fire potion on the uh, end of my hop bar. So the, the armor doesn't... Yep, see? We hit it. And you can see, even if my like hop bar was on my sword, like I could literally go through everything to get to my... Uh, um, 
fire resistance potion, and I'd still have time to do that, and we wouldn't die from it. Even with even with just gold armor, I'm checking to see if we're still recording. Yes, we are. Even if we just had gold armor, it is still enough to protect us enough to the point where we can take a fire resistance potion. So it really does not matter because we can just keep mining like nothing happened. And our armor takes a minute amount of damage and we just mine the next nether quartz ore we hit and our things instantly healed. We are in a very good position. And the best part is, if I do, like, somehow magically die in, a uh, lava or something, my tools, my, uh, chest plate, those aren't going to burn, because they're netherite. And anything valuable I have, like, anything sig of significant value would not burn. Like, we'd only lose fire resistance potions, and those can easily be made up. We have like half a stack of roast chicken. You saw how much chicken we have in just the ender chest. Not counting stuff at home, because I didn't take everything from home. And then, you know, oh, interesting thing I also found out. Ancient debris does not burn. Like, I knew netherite was fireproof, but the ore itself is also fireproof. So, if you, even if we die in lava, the ancient debris won't even burn. So no matter what, the worst we can lose is how many levels we have on us. And at this point, that doesn't really matter that much. Because we have so far to go that at any point, we can just get the levels back. Like, how, how many level 30 enchants do we obviously need? We have the potions... We have the ability to make potions, so we can always change a villager back. And we already have the, uh, like, and we already have, like, a bunch of emeralds. So, no matter what, we have the ability to get as many enchantments as we possibly want. Honestly, the biggest challenge is going to be building in Season 2, which... I'm still kind of thinking about. I know I say I, I want the theme to be pillars, but I don't know how exactly I'm going to incorporate that. Because I have the idea for like a chamber underground and like everything we're going to do underground. I know how that's going to look, but I don't know what the structure that goes on top of that is going to look like. And I also have to figure out the full block palette that I'm going to use for it, because most of the most of the blocks we're going to obtain for the build, we're going to have to obtain there. I don't have the storage capacity to get more.